the second game I finished off uh, mm -hmm. was uh, Banner Saga 2. Nice. So I really, really, I really enjoyed Banner Saga 1 and then Banner Saga 2, essentially kind of all the bits that weren't so great about Banner Saga 1, like the enemies mm -hmm. are a little bit repetitive. Uh, so yeah. each encounter is not necessarily the same, but it was quite similar. They they kind of like shook it up so there's different like factions you fight in the second one as well okay um, and then some of the abilities are a lot more different as well so it's kind of like your variation in the people you are or you control is is greater so yeah it, it was it was really really fun like the, yeah, it was just i really liked the first one and then mm -hmm. the second one just like took it up like a notch like a really good sequel does so mm -hmm. and what did because all i ever hear about the banner saga is the story like what did you think of the story uh, yeah, the second one, like more in the first one, stuff happens, and because it's quite, mm -hmm. uh, it's like the first act, like a lot of stuff's not yeah. explained. So you're just like, what's happening? Like I can yeah. see it's cool, but you're just like, mm -hmm. what is actually happening? Yeah, yeah. And then, um, then there is events that like change like things, and you're like, oh crap! Like oh, I really like that character, but I made a choice, and now they're yeah, not. Then okay. the, you know, like they leave or yeah, yeah, or leave more happened. permanently, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like, and it's just like sometimes it's just you just make a normal choice, and they're just like, I don't like that. I'm, I don't, I don't like, oh, I don't want to be oh, around okay. you anymore. I'm just going, kind yeah. of thing. And you're like, oh, but I really like their abilities in battle. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. But then in the in the second one, you get like even more characters, and mm -hmm. I no, it's just and it like the it takes your save from the first one, so all the choices yeah. you made like continue on, mm -hmm. so you feel really so, attached yeah. to like the 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 character. And there's only and, once where I I. I was just like, I was kind of acting how I thought my character would act. And then yeah. like another character was like, well, I'm sorry that we can't be friends anymore kind of thing. And I was just like, no, <laughs> no, you're my favorite. You're my favorite. Yeah. So I was just like, don't leave me. Don't leave turn me. it off, turn it off really quickly yeah. and like hope that it hasn't <laughs> auto saved and yeah. reloaded. And I was just like, ah, oh, yes, it didn't. And then <laughs> so only once where I was just like, oh, I kind of, my love Maybe. for a character went out over doing what i thought my character would do yeah yeah but yeah okay. but I, I think it's cool that it makes you decide like okay like you said either you have to balance everything i guess balance your party balance the story and and there are consequences if 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 you you know you want to make a mis you want to make this decision because you feel like this is how your character is going to act then yeah you know the the consequence might be like a character leaves or a character dies um, I just wanted to ask as well: Is it like, is it is the trilogy like one long continuous story, and like the games pick up straight after the the, the first, like you know, the second one it picks up? Does it pick up straight after the the first one ends, or uh, yeah, or yeah. Time? yeah? So the first one is chapters one to seven, I want to say, okay. and then the next one is eighteen to fifteen, and then okay. I'm assuming I've I bought that uh, Banner Saga three, but I haven't actually played it yet. Uh, yeah. I'm that's going to be like 16 to whenever the game finishes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. I, I The more you talk about it, the more I'm like, I should play it. <clears throat> and like roughly how long did it take you to, to, to beat Final Saga 2? Because um, I know you've been playing it. Maybe, in like, maybe it, about eight hours. It's not, okay. it's not super, it's not super, super long, but it's yeah. also, I guess if you play, if they're all like around that length, mm. then like you know then it's, it's going to be yeah. like a around a 30 hour game i would say yeah um, okay well i guess it depends on how good you are at turn burst uh, the uh, strategy games you as can, well like you can change the difficulty on the fly as well so if you're okay. really struggling then you can mm -hmm. just be like you know what i just want to get through this and like play it for the story but yeah in the first game there was a couple of battles where i had to retry yeah uh, actually i think it's the final battle i had to retry a few times but i just wasn't getting what it was telling me and i was like mm -hmm. oh i'm an idiot and it's like literally yeah. saying you need to do this and i was like yeah. oh, i just wasn't or i just couldn't pull it off um but i eventually just did it on normal um so yeah i mean as long as you you know the game teaches you how to play the game and as yeah. long as you kind of pay attention That's... then you shouldn't really ever have to turn it down you can make it hard if you yeah. want but yeah yeah, that's that's kind of like I said. I played a little bit of the first one, and that's kind of I kind of saw it more like a puzzle game. Like every battle is a puzzle, and once you work out, okay, this is how I need to solve the puzzle. Then instead of just you know brute forcing it and 
because I guess ideally you don't want you don't want to like let your characters die because then that affects the story. So it's really it's like okay, I need to play it this specific way to to get through the battle and to get all my characters out, which I think is cool. So yeah, I think I'm gonna check out the uh, how much it is on on the eShop because uh, I think there's a trilogy on there. So if you if you buy them singly, um, you, uh, yeah, get, you get yeah. a discount. So if on this. If you owned one, then I can't remember what the discount was on two, but if you owned one mm-hmm. and two, you get 40% discount on three. Nice. That's so, really cool. Yeah. yeah. So if you're like, oh, I think I might like this, but I'm not 100% sure, then just buy mm-hmm. the buy the first one, knowing that yeah. you may get discounts on the, yeah, that's the sequels if you do the like second. it. Oh, that's good to know. But if, I think that's a really nice, uh, a nice thing as well for, for the fans. Like, I guess the developers want to sell their games and get the, the fans to play. If it's one long story, get the, get everyone to play the whole story. So giving a little bit of a discount is a nice incentive. Yeah, it's kind of more episodic rather than... <clears throat> it's almost like Banner Saga, yeah. Saga episode one, two, and three yeah. rather than like a kind of sequel, yeah, wa- I, yeah. guess, I guess. Like Walking Dead or like those kind of games. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I mean. I, like, I'm, like I say, like the, it's one story, so they want everyone to play the whole story, not just the first third or the first act or whatever. But yeah, if you That's play cool. if you play the first one and you're like, I kind of like it, but I'm not. There is like issues with it. Then the second game kind of like really mm-hmm. works on those issues and like okay. it's a much better product. Yeah, good. That's good to know. 